Dear friends, we are in Dhammapada stanza number 208, Sukhavag. Tasmahi dirancha panyancha bahu sutancha doraya silang vatavanta mariam. Tanta disangsa purisang sumedang bajeta nakata patangwa chandima. Brief meaning of this stanza is, therefore, with the intelligent, the wise, the learned, the enduring, the dutiful, and the arya, with the man of such virtue and intelligence, should one associate as the moon follows the steady path. So far in these uh, stanzas, we were discussing about the foolishness and associating police disadvantages. We were talking. In this particular stanza is a given guidance for us to associate wise people. What are the advantages of associating wise people? So in here mentioning, categorizing the wise people, who are them? Dhirancha, Panyancha, Bahusutancha. Dhiran, Dhiran means uh, educated people. Uh, Dhiran, Panyancha, Panyan means uh, wise people up to the Buddha. We can categorize, we can get wise people up to the Buddha. The Buddhahood is the top up level of Panya. Enlightened beings, among enlightened beings, the Buddha is the highest one. Panyancha. Bahusutancha. There are people who know Tripitaka. Three basket of teachings of the Buddha very well. A to Isats who know all the discourses delivered by the Buddha, Bahusutta means them. And Dora Yasilang, who attained enlightenment, who eliminated all the defilements, they are Dora Yasilang. Vatavantang, no any defilements. People who don't have defilements, they are called, they call Vatavantam. Aryan, same people, same as uh, eradicated all the defilements, they are, we call Aryan. Aryas are Sotapanna, Sakadagami, Anagami, Arihat, the four, and there are eight Sotapanna Magga, Sotapanna Pala. So Arahan, uh, uh, anagami Magga, Anagami Pala. In this manner, there are eight Aryans. Appamada, who has energy, who has a strength to practice Dhamma, to eliminate all the defilements. All these people are the people that we consider as wise people. Basically, they all have a quality. That quality is thinking ability. Think deeply and widely. This quality is the nature of wise people. So all these people can think deeply and widely. In here, the Buddha, Buddha is advising us, do associate them. Associate them like whom? Tadisan Sapursan, there is another special word, adjective that Buddha use in here, Sapurisam. Sapurisam means great persons. And also there's another word, Sumedham, Sumedham, who has clean and clear mind. These great people who has clean and clear mind, Bajeta, associate, associate. How? How? There's the word Nakat Patang Chandima. Nakat 
integrate well, connected well, get along with them very well, like who? Chandima, Nakkatta Patango Chandima, sky, moon, and stars. Moon, sky, and stars, like all these connected with them. It means, can you see moon without a sky? No way. Can you see stars without a sky? No way. So in this manner, the Buddha is advising us to associate these uh, wise people, great people, clean people, like sky, moon, and stars. All these are together. No one can see stars without the sky. No one can see moon without the sky. So the Buddha is advising us, we should associate these wise people like that, connecting each other, developing bondages thoroughly. We should associate those people. Once the Buddha said to the monks, Bajata Bikkave Sariputta Moggallani, associate uh, Sariputta and Moggallana. Like who? Like uh, mother, like father, like your brother, associate uh, Sariputta and Moggallana. It means uh, you're not supposed to keep any distance with that kind of great people. Why? you're going to miss something there if you have any distance with them. We're not supposed to have any distance with these kind of wise people, sappurisapugala, great people. Associate them very closely, integrate with them very thoroughly and try to gain your wisdom, try to gain your spirituality with the help of them following their guidance, following their advisors, and uh, following, uh, associating them well. This advice is given by the Buddha because there was a situation behind this stanza, there's a story. As you know, the last Vasana uh, season was the Buddha, Spen and Velua village. Velua village spend the Vasa uh, near Vesali, Velua village. While he was staying there, he suffered from the sicknesses. When Sakal knew the Buddha was sick, the Sakka, the king of the deities, went to see the Buddha. And then Sakka wanted to nurse Buddha personally himself. The Buddha told him, you don't know to worry about, I have enough supporters here. At the beginning, the Sakka came to the Vihara, Belua temple, as human beings. The Buddha knew and then directly the Buddha asked, who are you? Then the Sakra replied, Venerable Sir, I am Sakra. What you are doing here? I want to nurse you. I want to treat you. I want to help you. Then the Buddha said, don't worry. I have enough supporters here. So you take care of yourself, I, I have enough supporters. Even though the Buddha said this, the Buddha said so, the Sakra did not want to lose this opportunity. So Buddha, uh, the Sakra was uh, nursing the enlightened one until he recovered. He was uh, nursing to the Buddha until the Buddha recovered. So the monks were surprised and 
Oh, struck to find the Sakka himself attend to the Buddha. When he heard their remarks, the Buddha said, because there is nothing to surprise. There is nothing to surprise. Sakka's love and devotion to me. Before his passing away, Sakka once had the opportunity of listening to the Dhamma. Expounded by me, he released the Dhamma. Sakra, even though he is the king of the God, he, is, he was a disciple of the Buddha. So, as a disciple, Sakra wanted to treat the Buddha as a gratitude to respect to the Buddha because he also was following the guidance of the Buddha. It means Sakra is not someone who attained enlightenment. So, he wanted to accumulate merits treating the Buddha, nursing the Buddha. That is the main purpose that Sakra had. That is the re that's why Sakra came to Belo village to nurse the Buddha during his sick period of time. So in his previous life, he had opportunity to listen to Dhamma. As a result of that guidance given by the Buddha in his previous life, he became a Sakra in this very life. This is, the, uh, this is the very important point that we should uh, keep in our mind. That Sakra became Sakra, the king of the God, because he had met that Kalyana Mitta in his previous life. Who was that? The Buddha. So Kalyana Mitta, Sapurisa, Oh, Panyavantasa, these words are very important. Great person and who has very clean mind and good friend. All these three things, three words are explaining a person, one person. He is Kalyanamitta. So associating Kalyanamitta is very important thing for our life. According to the Sota Patti Pala Sutta, Patamasari Putta Sutta, in this many other suttas, we have these uh, things. If you are willing to attain Sota Panna, it's mean if you are willing to gain the results of Dhamma practice. So there are there should be, there should four things in your life. One is to have good friends. Good friends means quality friends who has very pure mind, clean mind, wise person. These are the good friends. They don't have even very slight wrong things in their mind. That much clean and clear views and mind they have. So Kalyanamitta is very important thing for our life. Why? To listen to Dhamma. Kalyana Mittata, Dhamma Savana, the second one. If you don't have Kalyana Mitta, good friends, there is no way to listen to Dhamma. So the Buddha is a Kalyana Mitta for all living beings, including Venerable Sariputta, Moggallana, and all enlightened beings, and other monks who learn the Tripitaka. Uh, discourses of the Buddha are Kalyanamitta good friends. They have pure hearts and compassionate thoughts to help others to give this message, to give this uh, blessings, blessings being that they are what they are experiencing because of the Dhamma, that peace they are ready to share with others. This is the nature of Kalyanamitta. All these words that we use in this uh, stanza, few words are the dhiran, panyan, bahusutan, 
Doraya Sila, Vatavanta, Aryan, Appavadam. All these words are the explanation about Kalyana with the good friends. Good friends are such uh, qualities, including all these qualities, you can recognize good friends. Kalyana Mitte. Who are them? Dira. Well educated. Well educated means who is old in few degrees. That is not the well educated according to the Buddhist explanation. They have full of knowledge, experience. There are few things uh, according to the Buddhist explanation. They have full experience, they have full knowledge, they have enough uh, theme, their word and actions. Tapo, the word that we use, all these qualities are the qualities that you can recognize dhirang, educated person, well-educated person. And Panyan, they, they, they have ability to think deeply and widely and quickly, Panyan, wise. Bahusutang, they had uh, learned so many things, particularly about the teachings of the Buddha, they learn the teachings of the Buddha, all the Tripitakas. Dura Yasilang, they already attain enlightenment. They establish their morale. They establish their spiritual development. They are, they are unshakable. They don't change their mind. Their wholesomeness was their establishing. Vatavantang completely eradicate all the defilements. Arya, no more any unwholesome thoughts in their mind. And they are full of strength, full of energy, and they are on the path. They are already established their happiness. So all these qualities we can use to understand, to recognize Kalyanamit, the good friends who has all these qualities, they are good friends, they are Kalyana Mitta. Through them, we can get support to what? To attain enlightenment, to realize, to establish the qualities. So all these qualities are the qualities of Kalyana Mitta. So we are not supposed to miss any of this opportunity in this very life. Dear friends, having Kalyanamitta is the most blessing things for our life. If you don't have that blessings in your life, better to be a Kalyanamitta to someone. And then you can get that blessings. So we should learn Dhamma, learn in Dhamma, practice in Dhamma, being a Kalyana Mitta, being a good friend to others, and you are becoming a good friend to yourself also. So we can gain the results, developing your spirituality, developing your insight. It is not easy things to develop insight. We need uh, so many supporters. One is to listen to Dhamma, good things. You can't hear good things everywhere. Now think about the, your social medias that you are connecting morning to evening. How many opportunities are there in your social media, your social gatherings to gain something inside? I'm not, think, I'm not talking about this mundane subject, like physics, chemistry, uh, all these subjects, not the things I'm talking, because all these subjects are completely mundane. They don't have any ideas, thoughts about uh, supramundane level things. So in here, we are focusing about supramundane. How, what kind of teachings, what kind of discussions that you have every day uh, your social connections, social medias to gain your insight, gain your human qualities. Very few opportunities are there. So now you can understand 
Kalyana Mitters are very, very rare. Kalyana Mitters, good friends are very rare. So therefore, we have to develop our qualities as much as we can. Developing our qualities and gaining those qualities among our, ourselves, then we can gain blessings ourselves. This is very important for our life. If you don't have good friends, you're going to suffer a lot. There's no, no doubt about. If you don't have good friends, how you can get good guidance? How you can get good support for your spiritual development? There are so many people who are ready to guide us into wrong direction. There are not much people to help us, to guide us, to go into right direction and to gain wholesomeness. This is very rare thing. Sir. As you are experiencing in your day-to-day -to -day life in this very life, in this society, you can see it. Therefore, friends, uh, our duty, our responsibility is to develop our spirituality. So to develop spirituality, yes, we should uh, work on that uh, and we should get all the supports that we have, that uh, uh, we have in the society. This is very important. Once Venerable Ananda met the Buddha and then Venerable Ananda was telling to Buddha, Venerable Sir, in this sasana, half of duties, responsibilities will fulfill with the help of Kalyanamitta. Then the, then the Buddha said directly to the Venerable Ananda, don't say Ananda. Not half, not 50%. 100% this dispensation is dependent on good friends. Kalyanamitta. Our best friend is the Buddha. Our best friend are Venerable Sariputta, Moggallana and all other enlightened monks. Our, our friends, our good friends are learned scholar monks who was able to read complete the teachings of the Buddha. Our good friends are monks. So to get good friends, particularly today, it's not difficult things for us. We have so many facilities to get good friends. Simply think about your cell phone. You can connect to the world. You are not alone. Connecting to the world, you can get good friends to your phone very quickly, but you have to use your mind and brain to recognize good friends, to see their qualities. If you are not able to see their qualities, if, they are, if you are not able to recognize them, then unfortunately you are not able to connect with them. There is, uh, there, is, uh, there is something that we should think about ourselves. The time where the Buddha was living in this society, there were so many human beings, but unfortunately they were not able to even to listen to the Buddha. One of neighbor who lived next to the temple, Jetavana Monastery, Chunda Sukara, he was a butcher. In his whole life, he lived next to the Buddha. But unfortunately, he was not able to listen to any of guidance from the Buddha. He was not able to practice the Buddha. Why? He was not able to recognize the Buddha. He was not able to recognize the Buddha because his mind was full of cloud, cloud of ignorance cloud of defilements. So dear friends, we are lucky. We are able to recognize the Buddha and his followers with our clean and clear mind that 
uh, sopa that we have. So we have to use this energy, we have to use this uh, strength to practice Dhamma, recognizing all these good friends. What is the advice given by the Buddha? Be a sky. Sky always connecting with the stars and moons. You can't see moon without the sky. Be that kind of person to associate good friends, Kalyanamitta. Particularly today, we can take Dhamma as Kalyanamitta, right Dhamma, correct Dhamma as Kalyanamitta. Associating Dhamma as Kalyanamitta, we can gain our insight, we can develop our spirituality. For what? For our liberation, for our salvation. We are working on our salvation, we are working for our liberation. Dear friends, to, to fulfill our duty, to achieve all these goals, recognizing good friends, associate them without using any chance, without choosing, without losing any chance. This is very important. So recognize them through these qualities. Dhirang, well-educated. Panyang, their thinking ability is very deep. And Bahusutang, they have learned. Dora Yasilang, they already attained enlightenment. Vatavantang, they don't have any defilements. Arya, they are great, the greatest. Appamada, they always live uh, uh, heedless life. So seeing these qualities, associate them to gain qualities, gain support from them to increase the qualities. Having that strong feelings, strong thoughts, uh, we can practice Dhamma. I think that would be enough for today. Now it is time to share merits with others. First of all, think about departed relatives, friends, family members, and pets who departed. Name of us. By the power of all these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May they be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Whoever is affected COVID-19 and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May they be able to attain ultimate uh, happiness, having that aspiration. Make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy, and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metta thoughts. May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana. Having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Good night. Good day. Have a wonderful day. Good night. Good night, Monday. Good night.